So we parked our bikes here, 10,000. Came over here to see some kite surfing and also regular surfing here in uh, Mune. And just have a little chill walk on the beach. So, I'm from Redondo Beach, California. It's a, an area of LA. And this sort of remind, gives me a little bit of memories of, of Redondo Beach, my hometown, because of that jetty over there. And it looks like that jetty is where a lot of the surfers are. Yeah, it looks like they have uh, surfing lessons. I'm curious of how, how much it would be to surf. I uh, just want to ask you, how much do you charge for surfing lessons here? Uh, the sub arrival lesson is $35. Uh-huh, okay. Uh, 90 minutes. Okay, yeah. so that's, uh, what, 800000 900 900 okay. All right, cool. And then you that includes like the surfboard? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have surf for rain and surf for lesson. Cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. What's your name? My name's Tyler. Tyler. Yeah, My what's name your name? Pete. Pete. Nice yeah. to meet you, Pete. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. See you around. Yeah, see you. See ya. So this is their their place right here. Vietnam surf trip. Surf lessons. And it's just here, uh, this is like number one wind and chill. Have you ever been to this area of Mune? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, should have been. Yeah, it does seem like a very classic. Traverse the rock face, but yeah, I don't think it, I don't think it's worth. Yeah, it's not worth 20 <laughs> yards of walking. again <laughs> I got, got a little whip of salt water use a little bit of structure 
it unfortunately. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe, uh, maybe we can climb up on it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, they've done it somehow, but they're probably better climbers. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's as far as I'm going. Yeah, that's fair, yeah. Let me see if I can get maybe up here. shore break so like waves to surf on like in fine rank there's no waves at all I don't know about a uh, Vumtau or Vumtau am I saying that right Vumtau I don't know close enough Vumtau yeah, Vumtau maybe uh has a bit of a, a break I'm not sure Any like beaches in England that you go to? Um, beach of Bournemouth, but obviously it's not down there really. That's in like the south, right? The south coast, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, not really known for any beaches. <laughs> no, I guess England. Not really. Oh, these guys are catching some waves now. That's neat. Because there are so few of them and because we get so few sunny days, Oh yeah, that makes sense. This reminds me a lot of the, the area I grew up in, in Redondo Beach. We have a a jetty, this is called a jetty, I guess. Yeah, these yeah, rocks. Yeah, yeah. And uh, there's a much bigger one in Redondo, but this is similar. I actually just learned the word jetty like a few uh, days ago. It came up in a came up on a quiz I did with one of my students. Oh really? Yeah, I mean it's, it's like up here or something, but obviously it's not up there. Yeah. Well, I was gonna try to get a different angle of the surf. Let me see if I can. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, uh, I at least have the after of me. I slipped on the rocks, <laughs> but I'm okay. My butt's wet. Yeah, for sure. It's gonna be hot. <laughs> It's nice, so it's nice being out here on 
the beach. This is something that in Saigon you're not getting. But this is only three and a half hours away from Saigon, so or maybe even three. So you could definitely come here and enjoy a beach day. Get the bus from Hans Cafe. The bus is very nice. The cabin is massive. Oh, Hans Cafe. Yeah. Where is that? The one in District Nine you're talking about? Um. So the, the sleeping bus is not allowed in District One before 10 p.m. Right? Yeah. Um. So if you go before 10 p.m., it's better to get it from District Nine. Interesting where it looks like the the sand goes down, it's a little bit deeper than it is here. Yeah, bit of a different I guess a different time of day here at the beach um, about to leave Moine now uh, stayed for a couple days had a good time um, I do recommend if you're in the Saigon area if you want to take a quick like two three hour trip up to uh, Moine it's a good little getaway and you're able to come here hang out by the ocean and just get a little bit different vibe than you would in Saigon it's much quieter much slower pace and it is a good reprieve from the city. I would especially recommend anyone who's living in Saigon to definitely try to get out and uh, explore this place a little bit because it's 
you know, Saigon's like pretty much a concrete jungle, so I think occasionally it's good for the soul. It's refreshing to get out here and, uh, you know, kind of enjoy the beach. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the, the few vlogs that I made here. And if you did like them, click the like button, subscribe to the channel to support the growth. And leave any comments yeah i'm really happy to hear from y'all and i'll see you in the next vlog peace